Good to see you. It's almost time. Do you think you're ready? <laughs> Is it that obvious? To tell the truth, I could barely sleep last night. We'll be going inside of my mind. What will it be like? It's a bit scary, to be honest. Well, you'll be with me, so it'll be fine, right? Shall we get started? We're ready to begin the Resonance Area Connection. Let's do it. Huh? Is this... <clears throat> testing, testing. Do you read me? Yes, loud and clear. Fantastic. Looks like we have a successful connection. We're over the first big hurdle. So this is my resonance area. Okay. Both of your vitals are normal. You've got a background connection to your god arcs. Do you feel them in your hands? Yeah. They're as heavy as ever and visible at that. Just as Paler predicted. Sheesh, I don't know who he was, but he sure knew his stuff. I don't have much info on what's on your end. Do you mind taking a look around? Hmm. Shall we explore a bit then? What is that? It looks like... a person, but... Claire, you're still reading? <laughs> you really are a bookworm, aren't you? What? That voice? Is that... Dad? Are you alright? Did something happen? I touched... what looked like a person, and I thought I heard my father's voice. He's gone now, though. A phantom and a voice, huh? I'm not sure this accurately describes what's happening there, but one paper says this. Psychological phenomena may be seen in some form within the Observee's resonance area. We call them memory nodes, and they may inhibit access to deeper parts of a resonance area. So yeah, that's one possible explanation. It was a memory node? Yeah, most likely. Well, it's good if one obstacle is out of the way, I guess. Try looking around some more. Little? <laughs> Look at you. You really are a sweet kid. Alright, come here. Edric? Whoa! Be careful, you two. I'm seeing a small warp in the resonance area. Huh? An origami? What should we do? Stay calm, Claire. The radar response indicates it's another memory node. It seems that memory nodes can take any number of forms in a resonance area. But this one's pattern looks closer to a glitch or some kind of interference. Use your god arcs to take care of the problem. Nicely done! It looks like the memory node is gone. So, is everything okay in there? Yeah, we're both fine. More or less. Well, I'd say that's enough for one day. We got plenty of good data from our first connection. Initiating disconnection sequence. Please stand by.
Okay, the medical tests are all complete, and your levels look just fine. Neither of you are feeling sick or anything, right? No, I'm fine. Good, good. I think that the first run went very well. There's a lot to figure out with memory nodes and stuff, but more tests should clear things up. So, yeah, let me explain what we'll be doing in the next step. Since you connected with Claire's resonance area, your resonance sync rate improved. Oh, I put a document about resonance sync rates in the database. You read it, right? You're always reliable. Let me give you a quick review. The resonance area connection you made earlier was a very shallow one. In order to perform a core engage, you'll need to connect at a much, much deeper level. To do that, we'll need you and Claire to build up your resonance sync rate. You follow? To put it one way, you'll try to match up your mental breathing, I guess. The method is simple enough. All you need to do is go out on missions together. But not just any mission will do. You want to activate your oracle cells as much as you can. The stronger your foe is, the better the results will be. Anyway, that's all for today. Get yourself some rest so you can get to it tomorrow.